Welcome to Virginia's Creative Stamping Corner. We are live uh, from Bowie, Maryland. <clears throat> I am delighted to be with you this evening. I'm excited to show you the product that I, products that I have. It has been in the mini catalog. Uh, let me show you that just briefly here. Here is the mini catalog. Remember, it lasts until the end of April, I believe. It actually goes until May 1st. Let me double check that. Oh, yes, May 1st. Um, so that's the final day that you can order from this catalog. And very shortly, we will be announcing the retirement list from this catalog and from our annual catalog. So stay tuned for that. And in addition, tomorrow, we will learn about the color refresh that is happening uh, this year and you will be able to purchase new colors many of uh, well some of our old or some of our colors that we currently have will be retiring and you know that one of one set of the um, the in color colors will will definitely be retiring um, so if you want to keep an eye out for that. Um, I will keep you abreast of that news uh, every time I do a video and will let you know um, these things that go on the retirement list, particularly the paper, the inks, and all of that, end up uh, moving very quickly off the shelf. So if you have a favorite color and you just cannot do without this color, um, you or several colors, you need to uh, see about going ahead and purchasing those as soon as you can. All right, I do have, um, let's see, I think that's pretty much it. I'm going to talk to you now uh, about the stamp set and die set that we're using. It's on page 12 and part of page 13 in the mini catalog. I think you can see there it's all about ice cream and it's called share a milkshake well unfortunately ice cream is not something that i can eat because of um, lactose intolerance issues but um, i did you know i remember it tastes very good um, i might have a taste of it occasionally but i do not i do not eat it on a regular basis um, so anyway but i can eat things like sorbet um, sherbet? No, no, I cannot eat that because there's cream in sherbet. But sorbet I can eat and frozen Italian frozen ice or frozen, yeah, Italian ice uh, things I can, I can do. So I do have a frozen treat that I can have. But anyway, the rest of you who are not lactose intolerant can enjoy this and enjoy this. This makes the most darling birthday cards and you'll see some of the sentiments or for Valentine's Day as well, but it can be used for pretty much everything, I think. Um, I would not, well, obviously not sympathy or thinking of you, but you know, um, some of the general all occasion cards. So there you go. That is um, on page 12 and page 13. If you buy it in a bundle, and remember, some of the items in this, this catalog will be uh, retiring. I don't know which ones yet, but as soon as I do, I'll make sure that you'll know that you know that information as well. So, you know, if you see something in this catalog you like, I would suggest that you go ahead and contact your demonstrator. If you do not have a demonstrator, I would be delighted to help you with that. Just leave me a message um, either on Facebook or YouTube. I uh, am on both of those uh, channels and I am uh, it's still Virginia's creative stamping corner and um, you can you can look at those videos usually within a couple of days of the live event on Tuesday evening I make a point of um, of posting this on YouTube so that other people who don't use Facebook can see my videos as well hello Deanna glad you could make it Yes, I'm so glad that you were able to enjoy the, the lovely day today. Okay, so anyway, the card that we're going to make has some paper in it that I want to show you. And I have shown you this paper before, but it's, um, it's in the annual catalog. And it's the Country Gingham paper. 
and I'm going to kind of just very quickly show you. You get 48 sheets of 6x6, six six, and these 48 sheets, there are 8 of each sheet. And of course, 8 sheets, they're double-sided. And so there's 6 different patterns on one side, and 6 additional patterns on the other side. Now this is more like the larger gingham. Some of this is the smaller gingham. Okay, so that's, and they're really almost kind of like pastel type colors. And the colors that we're dealing with are balmy blue, mint macaron, petal pink, and sweet sorbet. So there are the colors. All right, so that is on our on our card today and this is the card that we're making I think it turned out fairly well I would be tempted to put some sprinkles on it somehow or some sort of little other color in the background but the white space is okay it's good um, and so I will show you some of the some of the products as we go along that I used in addition to the stamp set and the die set so here's the card that we're making here is the Share a Milkshake stamp set. It is a photopolymer stamp set, which means that you need to use your paper piercing mat so that you have a cushion underneath so that you get a good clear image when you stamp. And um, these are photopolymer in that you can look straight through the block and straight onto the image and see where you're stamping it. And that I really do like the ability to do that because sometimes some of the precision, precision stamping makes it a little difficult unless you're using your stamparatus to get things lined up correctly. This is a two-step stamp, uh, stamping um, uh, stamp set. Sorry, these two pieces go together. This is the solid. This is the one that goes on top to give you the details. This is the solid stamp with the this these that's the detail stamp. Even the spoon has a two-step stamping detail on it. That little those two little pieces up there go onto the spoon. There's a straw, and the straw has two steps to it. Okay. And I believe that's it. The hearts and the cherries and ice cream, different types of ice cream or sorbet, sorbet <clears throat> Italian ice, whatever you want to call it. And, you know, the, the sentiments are really sweet. I love the mixed font with this. Life is sweeter with you. You're the cherry on top. Celebrate and be my Valentine. All right. Now, this has a really interesting type of die set that goes with it, and I'll show you some of the pieces. I did overcut a little bit, which I typically do because I like to play with the colors. Um, this little set you'll see on one of our one of my sample cards and let me put that on a piece of white so you can see what that looks like there we go all right sort of like a little grid you know like that all right then you have the chocolate pieces and they're two different sizes of this little one and this one end up being for your chocolate syrup on top of your your uh, your milkshake or your waffle cone or your dish of ice cream whatever this is a waffle cone you'll see that waffle cone in a little bit it's really kind of a neat set it's fun I, I see it being used more I mean personally myself I would tend to use it more for birthdays or party kind of celebrations that kind of thing but there are some pieces that are cut out and you'll see some other pieces I believe um, Pretty much it, I think. I have stacked those up on some of the other ones, but I wanted you to see some of those pieces as they were actually punched out and in color. Those were those pieces here are stamped. You can cut them out without stamping them and just make it out of the solid solid cardstock if you'd like to do that. All right. Now, also on my card, I did use the Sweet Sorbet woven ribbon metallic woven ribbon. It's a very thin ribbon. This is one of the in colors. This is not one of the ones that is going away this year or going away in a few uh, in, a, in a month or so. But this is the Sweet Sorbet. And so we will be using that to tie a little 
to wrap around the card and to tie a little bow with. Okay, and typically when I do that, I do that in two pieces so it's slightly easier. You don't have to worry about dealing with this tiny little ribbon. Okay, so what we need for this, and uh, the inks that I'm using, let me tell you, I'm using the Smoky Slate, that's for my spoon. I'm using the Mint Macaron for the actual milkshake, but I made this a really thick milkshake so that you have to use a spoon. And then here's the Sweet Sorbet. All right. And then the final thing that I decided to use were these opaque adhesive backed gems. And these are on the same page, page 12 or page 13, part of page 13. Um, and these, and I went ahead and I went ahead and I wrote what colors they were. These are opaque adhesive back gems and they are faceted so that they're not smooth. There are, and I think you can see the sparkle on them. Um, there's no glitter on them, but they, because they're faceted, they do kind of look kind of glittery. There's white, there's fresh freesia, there's melon mambo. That's pretty close to the sweet sorbet. And then there's Gorgeous Grape. So those are the colors that are going to be used on this card. All right. Okay. Let's look at what we have here. All right. All my little pieces. Here is my envelope, which I've gone ahead and went ahead and I stamped the corner with my little heart stamp right here. Hopefully you can see that. Maybe it's better if you see it like that. There you go. Okay, all right. You're gonna need, uh, and, and oh, I wanted to tell you, this idea, I didn't do it exactly like she did, but this idea came from someone on Pinterest, Colleen Light, and it, her, her website is cardsbycoco.com. And also the mini catalog had a lot of good examples, so I kind of went between the two and added and subtracted and did whatever I could do with what I had. So the card base that we're using is mint macaron. It is four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. Then we had, uh, and then there is, yeah, okay. Um, the basic white layer, we have one as an insert, and both of these, and one is going to be on the outside of the card. One, uh, they are four inches by five and a quarter. So there are two of those. Okay, let me see. Um, the Country Gingham DSP, I have two pieces of that. I have this piece here, which will go across the bottom of our card. This piece is one and a quarter by four. And then there are two other pieces. This goes on the inside of our card. This piece is one and a half inches by four. And then this little piece goes on the front of the card as well. Um, this is one half inch by two. Right, that goes underneath of our words, okay? Our sentiment kind of make it stand out a little bit. So there's that piece, okay? And I went ahead and stamped Celebrate in the Sweet Sorbet. This is stamped in Sweet Sorbet. This is the, well, the ice cream piece. And see, there's a little divot or a little um, cut out area there. That's where the spoon goes. It makes it ever so easy just to sort of slip that little spoon in there and there you go. All you have to do is worry about attaching the end of it. So that goes like that. Then of course here's the ribbon and this goes across the the card, the front of the card and just, just barely wraps around the back. And of course I went ahead and I tied the bow because it's such a tiny little bow. So there you go. There's the bow. This is a piece of the chocolate. The larger piece of chocolate goes with the, or the larger chocolate syrup piece goes with the larger ice cream part. And that will go underneath the spoon there, just on top of that. And of course, here's our cherry. And that's stamped in the sweet sorbet. And then here is our mil actual milkshake, excuse me, milkshake glass. 
you stamped the solid image first, and I stamped off the solid image. I stamped it in mint macaron, then I stamped off on a piece of paper, then I stamped it again on this, this, this paper. The second image that I did, I stamped it full strength. And then you, it's just really very easy to, to add it on top. You could do it the other way. You could do this one full strength and then stamp off this, the part that you stamped off on. You could do the solid image on top of that if you felt like that was more comfortable, comfortable for you. It's your own personal preference as to how you want to do that. Okay, so there we go. So let's go ahead and here are all the pieces. I do have, okay, hold on. I'm going to grab my glue stuff. And of course I thought I had everything over here. Sorry about that. I was trying to do too many things at one time to get ready. And Okay, one more trip. Hold on, I have to get my little take your pick tool and all that kind of stuff. Luckily, my desk is just on the other side of the credenza, so. Okay, let me put this over here. Okay, sorry. Okay, and I'm at the end of the video. I will make sure that I put this as um, part of the, in the comment section, all the information about how to make the card. All right, now this card goes like this, portrait mode, okay? So that means that, and I, oh look, that needs to be adjusted just a little bit. When I folded that and put my four and a half inches in there, or five and a half, I should say, I didn't get it quite right, so I'm gonna take my bone folder and I'm gonna hold it down at the bottom here and smudge, <laughs> that isn't really a word, but anyway, smudge the seam a little bit so that's much better, the crease. All right, so that's even on the bottom. I like to have my cards even on the bottom. Makes, makes it work better. All right, so let's go ahead and let's add our pieces to our insert and also to the end that goes along the bottom. So we'll do that first and that goes on the inside. So let me remind myself by opening up the card that I'm putting this on the bottom of the insert piece. Here's my designer's, uh, here's my, <laughs> My adhesive of choice, which is the Tombow glue. All right, just a little bit. And so this was four by five and a quarter. So I believe I left it like that. I don't think I left an edge to it, but even if I didn't, that's okay if I did leave an edge there. Okay, so there's that little piece there. Let's add that now to the inside of our card. And I'm using stamp and seal. All right. Okay, checking to see if I've got adhesive where I want it. <clears throat> All right, and let's put this on the inside. Okay, this gives me a nice eighth of an inch border, not quite a quarter of an inch, an eighth of an inch border all the way around. Okay, and let's go ahead, because we're going to, again, mount this on the front piece, which is the same size, four by five and a quarter, I'm going to add this to the bottom of that, and I believe I went straight down to the bottom on, on that one. Um, oops. Okay, make sure I get this glue right. I try to use a very little bit of glue, because this glue is very uh, a very good adhesive, a very strong adhesive. It does give me that wiggle room I might need to make sure that I get that exactly even. So I'm going to test that to see that that's right there on the edge. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and adhere that. Oops, no, I'm not. I'm going to go ahead and add my piece right here, the bottom. Okay, in order to do that, there are a couple of different things you can do. 
Now probably the easiest, because this is so thin, is to use some tape. And I am going to get the tape out of the drawer here. Use some tape. So when you put it on, and I'm putting this because it's so thin, I'm putting it right at the top of where the designer series paper meets the basic white paper. And I'm just going to turn this over because it just sort of, you know, fits there on top of it. And I'm going to pull it across the back and I'm going to put the tape on there to hold it. Now, since I've got one side done, I'm going to check it in a minute to make sure it's going across there straight. So give me a second. That is on, that is right where I want it. Okay. Hold it and fold it. Hold it and fold it. Okay, there we go. And then add my tape right there. Nobody's going to know that you've got a piece of scotch tape on the back. That's okay. So that's on there. So now let's go ahead and glue this piece. That looks pretty good. Okay. And when we add this, we'll add this with a glue dot, add the bow with, with a glue dot, which will hold this piece in place so that it won't be wiggling all over the place. Ah, Beverly, glad that you could join me tonight. Thank you for stopping by. Yeah, this is a fun card. I did, I had fun putting all of these cards together. Um, and of course, it made me hungry every time I did that, but <laughs> oh, that's all right. I did stay away from the desserts. <clears throat> All right, here we go. And so that's done. Let's put this together. I like the colors. It reminded me of uh, lime sherbet and, you know, lime or cherry sorbet or any of those things that I can eat, which don't keep in the house, but that's okay. All right, so there's that. And we're going to set this this piece is the next piece we're going to put on here, this glass. We're going to set this right because it, it butts up against the designer series paper underneath there. And so the ribbon can go slightly over top of that. I hope you can see that. Okay, and I'm going to set this off to the side, but I'm going to sort of dry fit some things first because I want to make sure that this doesn't go off the edge of my card. Okay, so I want to make sure that's in a good spot. I want to make sure that this piece is in a good spot. I want to give myself some space. So I think I'll do, move that over a little bit. That looks okay there. Okay. All right. And then I can start to put some things together now that I have that done. Okay. So now that I'm going to just go ahead and pull this off. And I'm going to only put glue at the very base of this piece. That's where I want it glued down because I'm going to use this as a background piece and try to center it. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I don't have any glue on the back. Yay! All right, and I'm going to use a dimensional or two or three. Let's see, here's one. Okay, and I'm going to use my dimensional. I use all of my dimensionals, so I'm going to cut off the piece that I want to use down here on this end. Okay, right there. Excellent. Okay, that's probably the only thing I pop up on the card, so I'm going to go ahead and put that on there, and then we can arrange the rest of this thing and put all our little decora decorations or decorative pieces on there. So let's do this and make sure that I have that fairly, that's about like that. Okay. Mm. Okay, that looks good. All right, I'll leave that right there. Celebrate. And let's take this piece here now and we'll glue that down with the Tombow liquid glue. 
You don't need much. Okay, like that. Now this piece is going to go on. You could pop this up if you wanted to, but I decided not to do that. I'm sorry, you can't see where I'm putting the glue. I did put some glue over top of the spoon to make a point that that would stay, that would go there. I'm going to put this up as high as I can. There we go. There we go. And if you wanted to make that spoon lay down a little bit, you could take a glue dot and roll it up a little bit. Okay, take a glue dot off of your thing and just kind of squish it and roll it in on itself until it's like a little tube. Hopefully you can see that little tube and then stick it underneath the thickest part of the spoon right here on the end. And that way it's not going to go anywhere when the card gets opened time and time again. So there you go. Okay, so there's that piece. Beautiful little birthday card. And of course you can always interchange your sentiment for the, for the birthday with whatever you might happen to have on hand. So I think we're almost done with this card. My goodness, it's a very fast one to put together. All right, we're going to use another glue dot. I don't know why I put that away. Blech. Okay, I'm going to attach this bow, which is very tiny. Okay, and I'm going to cut this ribbon a little bit so that it's not quite so long. But until I decide which is the back and which is the front, I think that's the back. And again, I'm going to do the same thing with my glue dot. I'm going to take it off the tape piece, and then I'm going to kind of roll it up on, on itself. And then I'm going to put it on the back of the ribbon, on the back of the bow. Yeah, that helps me keep my ribbon piece together. There we go. All right. And... We put this, I mean, I debated putting it at the base of the glass. I debated putting it, you know, but then I thought, no, I think I'll just kind of put it in the center. And that way you can kind of, it's a little off center, but there you go. Just sort of give me a little distraction there. I'm going to pull these two pieces together. Okay. And I'm going to just sort of cut them off at the same spot. So there you go. There we go. All right. And gather all my little bits and pieces here off to the side. And I'm going to use my take your pick tool and use these opaque adhesive back gems. Now, I, as I said, I thought the, the melon mambo came pretty close to the sweet sorbet. So I'm going to use that. Um, they have three sizes here. I'm not sure that there you can see the three different sizes. The smaller ones are up here, medium size, and then the larger ones. And I'm going to use, actually this time I'm going to put a medium size one here. All right, then I'm going to use a larger one way up here, I think. And then I'm going to put the medium size one Oh, okay. No, nope. I'm going to use a very small one. Sorry. I already used the medium size. And I'm going to put that one mm. Let's do that there. Okay. So, and, and you know, if you wanted to, you could take a marker, um, one of the Stampin' Blend markers, and you know how you can take it, you take the cap partly off of it and then flick the brush side inside the cap over top of whatever and splatter some ink on that if you wanted or if you happen to have um, a little splatter stamp you could certainly do that before you add everything else on here we do have our cherry and our chocolate how could we forget those oh i don't know those are my favorite parts okay so let's put this on just a little bit dab of glue will do it my glue is getting a little low. Obviously, I use it a lot. There we go. 
All right, now this fits right here. It's going to kind of tuck a little bit underneath of the, there we go, underneath the spoon. And there's that piece. I can't have us make our sundae without a cherry and without the chocolate. That just does not speak sundae. And... So this is how I can vicariously, Bev, enjoy ice cream. <laughs> okay, there you go. And there is our card. Simple, but I think, you know, sometimes simple is the most elegant way to go. I'm, you know, that's just really, really very easy to do. And I really did enjoy putting that card together. The, I guess cutting out all the little pieces, you know, and, and, and getting all that measured out. That is a that is a challenge sometimes, but, you know, if you get used to it, you can do several of them at once because the pieces are so tiny. So um, that works. That works really well. And you can, just, rather than stand there for 20 or 30 minutes cranking it out, you can just do it in a few, just a few if you load it up. All right, so there is our card. I did not put a sentiment on the inside. However, happy birthday is definitely going to go on this one. All right, so celebrate. You could be celebrating a graduation. You could be celebrating an anniversary. You could be celebrating, oh, I don't know, a great day at work uh, or a promotion or anything like that. Okay, here are the other cards that I'm going to show you that I dabbled and played with a little bit. And um, this idea came from Jamie B., and it's jamieb.com, J-A-I-M-I-E-B.com. She does a lot of Instagram things as well. Um, this card stock was five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. I used the, um, the, the decorative masks as my background, which was different from what she did, but I did use the Fresh Freesia. I made it a thank you card. I used one of the new uh, online extra, uh, exclusive uh, embossing folders. And you see I used that little piece there. The secret to using this piece, and you could use the adhesive back pieces if you wanted to, but was just to put a little dab of glue. And again, it takes, sometimes it just, it just really takes just a little bit. Uh, a little dab of glue on the bottom part so that the top part kind of sticks up a little bit and that adds a little extra dimension to it and I believe I just typed or, or just stamped the um, hearts on the inside and I did the same on the envelope as well so that's jamieb.com she's very funny she and and very good very talented very very you know, she doesn't do a whole lot of really, really fancy stuff. This has got three different kinds of ice cream on it. Uh, or I would say it's sorbet as far as I'm concerned. Um, and I just like the color combination. I just thought that worked really, really well. So there's that piece. And then finally, the next one, I looked at the catalog, mini catalog, and I just played with it a little bit. I wanted to do something with the waffle cone piece. So there is the waffle cone piece, and I think you could probably see the impression that this die makes on the waffle cone. And I just put those like they're on a plate or in a bowl, and I said, life is better with you. And that could be like an anniversary card if you wanted to do something like that. This is on the thick basic white, so I didn't do anything on the inside of the card. And I used the... Again, I used the sweet sorbet, the hearts as well. So there you go. That's it. So that's what I did this week with the share or a milkshake stamp and die set. Uh, and that's in page 12 and page 13 in the mini catalog. Okay, everybody. Well, thanks so much for being here. Uh, I, I think... You know, yeah, Bev, your your grandkids would really like this card, I think. Uh, even maybe your your own kids. I don't know how much they like ice cream, but this is really sweet. At first, I wasn't real sold on this card, but then I saw a lot of people making these cards, and I thought, you know, that's a nice that's a nice birthday card for kids. 
So I decided that I would uh, try that. And so what I'd like to tell you now is I wish you a, a good week. All right, so take care of yourselves and uh, make sure that you take some time this week to do something creative. And if you can do it every day, the more power to you. Take care. And I'll see you next week, April, and that's got to be April the 4th, Tuesday, at 7 p.m.